just the way you are fanfiction.net and I took it for you Disclaimer, Sega has copyrights for Sonic and Friends Sonic was running to Tails' house but not in his normal Sonic speed We can't stop thinking about Amy Frost Not only can he not start thinking about her but she hasn't been chasing him in a month and her birthday is coming up real soon all of these stuck in his head as he ran the tail of the house he got into his house and knocked on the door he was tapping the ground with his right foot impatiently Tails got the door and saw Nick said to him can I talk to you about it? it's important sure come on in Tails said in reply oh uh, thanks as Sonic enters the house, as Sonic and Tails sits at the dining table, the conversation starts to reveal some secrets. So what's the problem with you? Because I saw you on past three weeks, and you haven't been as fast as you should have been. I know, it is a M. She has been the chasing of me for a month. Well, calm down, I know you said you're having a baby, but I'm But that was three weeks ago, Tails. I came for your help. Well, uh, uh, because I, uh... So, if I see you get chased by a every single time, I get to tell you not to scare and very scared. I can tell you're scared of her. And honestly, I've seen you bubble in multiple times with no fear in the face. But scared of the enemy, I want you to be honest with me, so why are you scared of the <laughs> When Tails said that, Sonic froze up from his face down in his whole body as he was about to say something and it came with silence. Finally, Tails broke silence by saying this. Well, at least try to tell me! Alright, 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 I tell you, but you've got to keep this to yourself. And then Tails nodded and added, I promise! Alright, when I first met Amy, I think that she was the most beautiful I ever met. Ever since I saved her and ever since she kept chasing me, I was afraid to tell her how I truly feel about her. And if I told her how I feel about her, then Eggman would kidnap her more than usual and use her as my weakness. I love her. I do not want anything to happen to her. There was in even another pause when Sonic said that, but Tails broke. Oh, why don't you go to Amy's and see what's happening? I'm sure she was still standing over heels for you. Are you sure? Well, then... All right. Uh, thanks for the talk, Tails. Don't mention it! And with that, a Sonic found himself going to Amy's house. Hmm, now I am chasing a down Amy. How ironic. Sonic thought as he travels toward Amy's. And when he got to his house, he let out a deep breath and knocked on her door. And I leave you with a cliffhammer! Will Sonic ever reveal his feelings toward Amy? Or will he choke up? Find out all these next time! This chapter 2 of Just the Way You Are, chapter 2, a bunch of bugs. Disclaimer, Sega on Sonic and Friends. Well, here's chapter 2, I hope you guys like it. Chapter 2, a bunch of men. Sonic took a deep breath and then he knocked on the door. I'm a coming, Emmy yelled. To her surprise, it was Sonic in the front door. May I come in? Sonic said. Sure. When Sonic came in the house, he noticed a lot of shopping bags full of clothes, and perfumes, and makeup. Oh my god. This is t Have you won the lottery? Sonic questioned Amy. Well, I'm, uh, I'm turning 18 this year. Get in. This year, so I might as well go big at my birthday party. Amy said. Oh, one a month of his shopping and you still haven't thought about me? I have thought about you in these past months, but... And... I'm just a tired of chasing all these years. So I took a break. But I still got to chase you. Sounded like something I would do in the Call of Duty game. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Sonic and Amy laugh. Oh, and your video game, Sonic! Last time you played the game, Amy, 
You were going crazy on the first level. Because I don't know what the purpose of the game was. Taking down an enemy by shooting him with your gun. Amy, we are getting off topic here. I want to talk about I haven't been thinking about you for the past three weeks. I haven't seen you in a month, Sonic! Yeah, uh, but I think uh, one week without you is better than one month, Amy. What are you trying to say, Sonku? There was... There was a buzz after. She said that. Sonic saw in his head thought, Man, uh, I haven't heard that nickname in a while. Ames, what I'm uh, trying to say is that... Uh, he said I... Deep in the Amy's mind. I think I am going to need you to try on your clothes. You might as well try them on. Well, okay, I'll get all my stuff and try it on upstairs. <laughs> when Amy was going to the room, Stodic started to have doubts in his head. What the fuck, Sonic? You are uh, stuck uh, seeing a fashion so Hell, at least it's Amy and her beautiful body and face. Wait, no! I was about to tell her I love her. Great. The Sonic was stuck seeing one force of the outfits that didn't seem to reflect Amy's personality. One after another, Amy kept hearing this. No! Sonic said for the 500th time. I thought Sonic, you don't like the outfits I've worn so far, said Amy. Honestly, Ames, I don't think the outfits you've worn don't fit your personality. Anyways, I'm starting to get hungry after seeing you in so many clothes. So Amy, <laughs> so Amy was starting to get ready to make Sonic's favorite meal, obviously chili dogs. Sonic, on the other hand, wanted to tell her his feelings while helping her set up the cooking supplies. Oh, Amy, I want to uh, tell you some uh, other thing. Little Sonic did not. He put his hand right on a hot frying pan that was on the stove. Amy on the other hand didn't seem to tell him. Sonic sneezed the air. Are you cooking or something right now, Amy? Oh, uh, no! Then Sonic realized his hand was on a fine pen. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, the story sucks! Sonic then put his hand in his mouth and it seemed like a good idea to him, but then it burned his tongue! Sonic ran towards the restroom. He tried to turn the faucet on with his burnt hand. Ow! When Amy heard Sonic yell awkwardly when his tongue burnt, she giggled but came back to check if he was right. Sonic! Are you alright? She opens the door and found Sonic in the toilet face first. Sonic felt relieved when he got the cold uh, piss filled and shit filled cold water in his tongue and in his burnt hand. Amy laughed out loud. She ended up on the floor when she saw Sonic licking the toilet like a dog. She was laughing so hard. She snorted like a, a pig when Sonic heard her laugh like that. He laughed as well. Amy, I haven't heard you laugh like that! As Sonic was laughing at Amy. Amy still laughing after what Sonic did said. But I snort! Hey, my laugh! But I think it's adorable! Amy started to blush when Sonic said that. Amy, uh, can I cut him, please, and get the ice pack? I will do it after you wash your hands and your mouth, you sick fuck! Sonic went back to the bathroom to do exactly that while uh, Amy was uh, cooking the food. As Sonic got the back to the, out of the bathroom, Amy gave him the pack of ice and told him that the dinner was ready. Sonic and Amy got to the dining room and started to eat their chili dogs. During their dinner, Sonic wanted to tell Amy something. This time it's not about his feelings. Amy, can I, can you, uh, uh, please not tell anybody about what happened today? Oh, what condition? Can I go look at the other clothes I have to wear? Are you serious? Fine, I'll do it. Fucking bitch. Poor, stupid bitch. Thanks, Sonic. I promise I will tell it to anybody. 
You're right, Uncle Mario. I wanted to tell you something, Ames. Yes, Sonic. Who? When, when Amy says that, Sonic started to gag and cough after looking at her, at her in his new string water. Can I, 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 can I uh, stay first than that? Sure! You can have it back, because this isn't awkward at all! No, Amy. Uh, can I have the couch? No, Sonic! I insist you sleep on my bed tonight! Why are you sure, Ames? Amy nodded the shore in him. All right, then, if you say so, and thanks, Ames. Sonic was brushing his teeth along the side with Amy. They were preparing to hit the hay. Sonic went into Amy's bed and stared in the air. Sonic and his head. Damn it, Sonic! You might have a screwed up three times today by telling Amy about my feelings for her. After staring in the air for 40 minutes, he started to sleep. After two hours, someone was knocking on the door. It was midnight. Come on in, said Sonic. <laughs> Wrong voice. Oh, well. Sure enough, it was Amy who looked terrified. What? Wrong voice again. What's wrong? Uh, I had a bad dream. Can I, can I sleep with you? I wouldn't die in the memes. Thanks, Sonic. When Amy went into the bed, she hugged Sonic, something that Sonic had longed for a month. Amy felt a comfortable right at Sonic's side, listening to his heartbeat. Sonic felt comfortable as well. He was playing with Amy's quills. What the fuck? Uh, Good night, Amy. Good night. Both of them started to fall asleep together. Sonic started to dream ever so sweetly. What could the Sonic dream be about? Stay tuned before I continue the story. I need reviews. I need to know there's a 40 plus member readers that read the first chapter. Okay, I bet his dream was a wet dream and he comes all over Amy to sleep. Oh, Alright, well this is a terrible, awful story and I actually recommend you read it because it will give you some good laughs. And yes, the grammar really is that bad. Um, uh, I guess I'll make another part of this later, but I really don't know. This is a bad story. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. Oh, okay. Bad story.